Once you have completed step one on the Wii, you have to put your SD card back into your SD reader. And this time we will close it, as we have more stuff to do. We will go back to the folder called Wii Soft Mod, click on the folder inside, and go to step two, Mod Pack. In here is an optional step that will ensure uh, that it will go smoothly. There is a program called MD5 Summer. This checks that the, all the files downloaded correctly. And it'll ask you if you want to associate MD5 with this program. Click No. And at the bottom, there are three buttons. Create Sums, Verify Sums, and About. And at the bottom of the list, there should be a folder called Mod Pack. Click that and click Open. And it will verify them. There are no errors, everything was done completely. If there is an error, you need to re-download the file again and extract it. So with that, we can move on to our SD card. We move this to the side and this to the other side. We'll again format our SD card. and click OK. And now we will copy all of these files that are in step 2 onto our SD card. This will take longer. Once that is done, you can select your movable disk and eject it. Then you may close out of these and move on to step 2 on the Wii. Now for step 2. Now that you have prepared your SD card for part 2 of this tutorial, we will again insert it into the Wii while at the Homebrew Channel screen. A few things will show, but we are not to launch these yet. What we are going to do is press Home on the Wii Remote. And on this list, we are going to hit Launch Boot Me. This is where the real hacks begin. Okay. Now Multimod Manager has started. We're going to navigate to the third one down, Wad Manager, and hit A. And you'll press 1 on the Wii Remote to install all Wads in this folder. Make sure they all install correctly. This is very crucial to the process. I have already had these installed, so I will not install them again. And then we will hit B once they finish installing. Installation of these wads could take up to five minutes. We're going to navigate to the first one, Apps. And we will look for one called Preloader. And we will find boot.dol. This is an executable for the Wii. Launch it. Okay. Now, it is going to have us press plus on the Wii Remote.
and it will give us a few errors, but those are normal. And now it will crash, but this is also expected. The crash is normal and always happens. Okay, this is the important part. Shut off your Wii manually by pressing and holding the power button. Eject your SD card. Press the power button and hold reset. Now preloader has loaded. Reinsert your SD card into the Wii. And we will go down to system menu hacks. <coughs> and then the hacks that you want enabled are auto press A at health screen. So we're going to enable that block disk updates enable that block online updates enable this move disk channel and remove no copy safe file protection also recovery mode press d-pad R on GameCube pad 4 make sure it is the lower one not the top one and then we'll hit, hit B on the Wii Remote to go back. Then we'll go down to Settings. And when it says Shut Down To, we're going to hit to, we're going to go to Ignore Standby and turn that on and save our settings. And we're going to go to the System Menu. and now the system menu will load as it normally would so we're just going to press A to continue <coughs> and you have your standard system menu but in addition to that you have these four channels USB Loader GX the Homebrew channel Neo Gamma channel and Load Me Now we will shut it down and prepare for step three. And hit A. <coughs> 